Hi guys, Dan McCoy, R.O. McCoy, here at World of Concrete 2019 in Vegas, and we're at the Fritz Pack booth. And David, yep. glad to meet you, man, is yep. going to tell us all about Fritz Pack, which we use all the time to prime our pumps out with, but he's got some pretty cool stuff to show us, so take it away. Uh, yeah, the product I want to talk about is uh, Slick Pack 2, the best pump primer out there. And uh, first, you know, why do you want to prime a concrete pump. Well, if you, if you try and send concrete through a, a dry pump or a dry pipe, you're going to form a plug, man. I mean, it's going to, that leading edge is just going to dissolve or you know, lose moisture. It's going to form a plug real quick. So you need to have something that, that coats the pipe before you start the job. And, you know, you could use a, you know, a grout slurry. So guy has to be carrying around a 94 pound bag of cement to make a grout slurry in a hopper. That's no fun for him. Uh, or you can call in the ready mix for uh, a yard of concrete. They don't want to be bringing out just a yard of grout or something to prime a, a concrete truck. So why not have a handy, you know, half pound small bag of Slick Pack 2 with you to uh, prime, the, prime the concrete before the job starts. And uh, I have a little demo here to show, you know, a lot of people wonder, you know, how long it takes to, to, to get nice and nice and viscous, nice and snotty, because that's what you want to be priming with. So we have here little container full of the slick pack too and you can see that we mix it up and you know when you're mixing this in the hopper you want to throw in a whole bag and maybe mix it with uh, five six gallons of water and that's what you're going to shoot forward and you want something that's going to coat that pipe man you want something that's going to be nice and snotty because uh, it'll you know when when you prime you should be uh, releasing line pressure and so you'll uh, you know less pressure that's being put on the boom, less force that's being exerted with the, the machinery. You can also add this directly to a concrete mix to make it more pumpable. You know, concrete mixes today, sometimes you have to work with chip stones, sometimes you have to work with manufactured sands, and uh, those make it really difficult to, to get through a concrete pump. So one bag of a product like Slick Pack 2, you know, in an entire ready mix truck, entire ready mix load, makes it much more pumpable, easier to get through, Everybody's doing their job faster and you know getting the job done on time and easy. And, and every contractor uh, that, that we pump for, uh, they've seen this before. Uh, they've seen it going to the hopper and how great it works. And mm -hmm. you can see what happens when it's not used or if the grout isn't just right on a longer line pump. You know, you, you come out there and, and bam, you hit resistance right away. What do you do? You break it open and what do you have? A big plug with a bunch of rock in it. Exactly. And that 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 is a delay that you just don't want. The contractors don't like to see it. But if you can explain to them why that's happening and how that moisture from from the mix is getting drawn out into that system, and that's why you're drying up at the very end, and that's where you see it. Mm -hmm. But this product is a lifesaver sometimes. Uh, you know, especially like when we do bridge decks and you're starting out there in the middle and you're working back towards the machine. You know, where you've got two pumps, it's great to be able to prime that out with something little, something small. You're not you're not you know you're not discharging a lot of that bad cementitious material in, in unapproved environmental areas. So, I mean, so you, I'm sold. Yeah, <laughs> so, sounds great to me. So, I mean, we use slick pack all the time, but uh, I see you got a lot of cool stuff on the board here. You know, another product that a lot of concrete pumpers maybe don't know about would be the uh, the mini delayed set, and that's for use when you're doing a uh, boom recirculation. You know, nobody likes boom parties, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know sometimes they happen, and you know you're expecting 10 trucks, nine show up. You know, where's that? 10 truck oh he'll be here in 30 minutes and you know 30 minutes turns to 45 minutes turns to an hour and uh, you know it's a hot day you know 90 degrees 100 degrees and you're worried about you know you're, you're recirculating in the boom oh yeah so there's you know one bag of mini delayed set while you're recirculating will retard the the, the load of uh, concrete or about half a yard you probably have recirculating there uh, up to an hour so you don't have to worry about you know your boom parties or anything setting up and uh, once that truck finally shows up, you're ready to go. Now, it's a good thing to note too, because in the old days, guys used to carry around a you know a pound of sugar. Oh, exactly. They're trying to do that, but in today's mixes, with as many admixtures as they use, concrete's just not what it used to be. I mean, the, the admixtures are, have gone crazy for different applications, different floors. This stuff, 
is proven to work well without inhibiting anything in the concrete whatsoever. Yeah, the, the, That's the best part. The benefit of using mini delayed set versus sugar, obviously, is that you know if you're using sugar, you got to throw that stuff away and you got to clean out your pump. I mean, you know, that's you've got harmful materials in there. Whereas mini delayed set, I mean, it's it's going to delay the setting time of concrete, but it's not killing it. It's not harming it. That concrete's still good. That concrete can still be placed. Well, hey, David. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, I'm going to tell you that product in itself has saved a lot of line on our pumps. <laughs> so I appreciate it. <laughs> no problem.